All right, guys, I'm really hoping that this is going to be one of the last videos I make on like this whole drama, but I just have a big feeling that it's not going to be. But hey, at least tomorrow we're going to be back not talking about some Minecraft shit unless something goes down. But yeah, I guess for the time being, I did say I was going to be going over Shovel's response to George Not Found in my last video. If you guys happen to not know who Shovel is, Shovel is Wilbur Soot's accuser. Essentially, she came out on a live stream and accused him of abusing her, conveniently didn't show any evidence for anything not even a single screenshot or nothing, Wilbur made a really quick and shitty response, and he essentially ruined his own career doing so. I did talk about that here on the channel, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about or who this is, make sure you go check out those videos. But yeah, no, essentially, just to give you like a little recap here, she essentially came out like maybe two or three weeks ago. She was the first person to come out with an accusation as of recently, and that's why all of these allegations have came out against these creators, because literally anyone and everyone is coming out with their own allegations seeing Shovel come out and totally destroy Wilbur Soot. Now because of this and as it was confirmed yesterday in yesterday's video, Katie Bugs George Not Found's accuser had came out in one of her responses and had claimed that Shovel was the person who inspired her to come out about, you know, the things that allegedly happened to her. If you want to learn more about the George Not Found situation with Katie Bugs, I do have a playlist with all my videos covering the situation, so make sure you go check that out if you're not in the loop. Now on to Shovel's response to this whole situation. I'll be honest here. She doesn't say anything meaningful. And if you want to know one way to piss me off is by talking about the ages and the age gap and being like, she's an 18 year old child and, and saying stuff like that. It's like, bro, what the fuck? You guys will see what I mean. Just check it out. It's just, it, it's fucking, it's stupid. I'm talking about anyone that has been irresponsible with the trust of young people in their, not their care, but sort of, you see them take an 18 year old under their wing. They call themselves their brother and they, they gain their trust and they but, but then they will abandon them at a moment's notice. They will not be there for them. They will not take care with their well-being. They will not take care. Um, they are cruel to them. They're mean to them. There's so much care and responsibility when you have friendships with people with an age gap because I don't think it's inappropriate all of the time for there to be an age gap between friendships. There's just a difference in how you treat those people when they're so much younger than you that you do need to have more responsibility and more boundaries. You know what's crazy about this is that I was 18 two years ago and this person right here is the type of person that I wouldn't want to be around. I'll be honest here. I understand looking out for people and stuff, but like to literally baby them over it, like come on, dude, like they're fucking 18. They're an adult. Sure, they're like, I, I, if we really want to say this, a freshly an adult, but why are we going to sit here and fucking baby them? I mean, when it comes down to it, I feel like the better argument is, oh, don't treat anybody like shit. Don't take advantage of of anybody and be a good fucking person especially to your friends and then to talk about like some age gap like there's a fucking issue and that you have to like treat this 18 year old if you're like 26 and you're friends with them like a fucking baby like what that's so fucking delusional like am i wrong in saying this because i feel like most people when they go from 17 to 18 and they become a legal adult they want to start doing adult things at least most of them because i know i don't want to sit around and be babied over everything i want to be looked at as like you know what i actually am which is a legal adult and somebody who can take responsibility for their own actions and do whatever the fuck they want to do whenever the fuck they want. I don't want fucking Shovel over here just fucking babying me. Like, that's so fucking weird. And if you're like an older, I guess, adult, if there is an age gap, please don't do this shit. Once you're 18, you're still a teenager, but you're a legal adult. And I know a lot of people would consider you still to be like, you know, young and a child in terms of like your maturity level. But when it comes down to like the way people should be treated, let's not make the age gap thing a real big issue unless that person is like dating downwards or something or like harming minors which in this situation that does not happen hopefully that makes sense um i think a great example of someone who takes absolute great care of the people who are younger and look up to them is Philza. i think he's such a great person as such a role model who means it uh and thinks that it's a responsibility to take care of them because they're still so young they're kids they're teenagers and i think that if you think it's acceptable as soon as someone turns 18 suddenly it's okay to make all types of sexual jokes and to be physically violent with them or to i just think it's despicable. Don't mess with teenagers. What are you doing? Okay, so I guess I understand a little bit where she's coming from, but at the same time, bro, when she says things like don't mess with the teenagers, like, bro, come on. Dude. I mean, okay, don't mess with the fucking underage teenagers. Don't fucking do that shit. But when it comes down to like over 18, like if you want to have something that is consensual and something, you know, like a, a relationship, I have no issues with it. At least that's just me. Now, when it comes down to hurting people and doing things that, you know, really aren't right, like some of the things that Katie is alleging, things that 
I don't believe happened. I, of course, don't think it's an excuse them being over 18 to take advantage of them and to do like really bad things. But it seems like they're making this more about the age gap and the fact that she was 18, freshly 18, and she just happened to be fooling around a little bit with somebody who was almost 10 years older than her, somebody who has more experience. Like in that aspect, I do not see a problem. And if we're really going to sit here and talk about who's being bad faith and who isn't, like I literally just think bringing up like the age gap when they're both legal adults is being bad faith because I know a lot of people hear about things like that. Oh, she was freshly 18. He was 26. He was way older. She just graduated from high school. Like people are going to see that and then they're going to start calling him a pedo and a child predator because, oh, there's such a huge age gap. He was messing around with an 18 year old. They were cuddling, whatever. Like he's a creep. He likes children. Like that's what it seems like is going down here. And that's why me personally, that's why I think that they're bringing this up. But anyways, continuing. There is so much responsibility in our hands when we are the older. And I think something that I've been thinking about a lot um, is this lie that I've heard a lot of people tell, but I do believe comes from good intention. I just think that we need to stop saying it is when like, I'm just, if you have a 10 year age difference or something, you have almost a decade between you to say, what do you even have in common? You don't have anything in common. That isn't true. That isn't true. Of course we have things in common. I play Minecraft and you all play Minecraft. And I think that it's kind of a lie to make it seem like there's nothing that you have in common when of course we do. And what it might do now is give an opportunity to someone older to say, Hey, we have this age gap between us. You're 18. I'm 26, 27, whatever. Plus. Um, and we're not supposed to have anything in common, but we do. And so it's special and it's unique and it's different. Um, of course we have things in common. Of course we do. And that's so important when we do have friendships. And so important, I think, also to have those friendships so that these younger adults have people that they can go to that are outside of their parents. It isn't the same um, that they can trust and can go to and know that they're going to someone who will be responsible with them and they will not be careless with them. But people take advantage of that. I don't think it's ever okay. I don't think it's ever okay to mess with teenagers. That's what I think is so much worse. I feel this upsets me so much because they're so young. They're so young. And you're so fucking old. What are you doing? They're so young, bro. Protect the 18 year old children. Save the 18 year old children. Like, I just can't get over it. I really can't. Because, of course, they're going to have less experience than somebody who's like 26 and has been an adult for longer. But once again, I don't think the age gap thing really has like a part to play in this. Because, once again, you're a legal adult. And when it comes down to it, how about instead of saying, oh, yeah, don't, don't mess with the teenagers, the 18 and 19 year old teenagers, how about you just say, like, don't mess with any anybody don't like hurt anybody don't wrong anybody respect people like why does it specifically have to be oh don't go after the teenagers the 18 and 19 year olds and it's disgusting that like you know him and her were cuddling on the couch with such a huge age gap even though she was 18 like i honestly won't just sit here and say that you know she's 100 incorrect because i see where she's coming from when it comes down to this and being a role model because you're older but please don't baby the fucking 18 year olds like they're still a fucking child that's fucking lame and I think that any 18 year old that isn't Katie would literally not want you babying them because it's like when you turn 18, when you become an adult, you want to be seen as an adult. You want people to respect you like an adult. You don't want people just constantly babying you and shit like that, prohibiting you from dating people who are like significantly older than you. Like if you really wanted to at age 18, you could fucking date somebody who's like 60 years old or something and it's fucking legal. Of course, it's not going to be like normal or really socially accepted, but you can do it when you turn 18. 18. And when you're a legal adult, you have more freedoms and you have more responsibilities. Like this should just be common sense. I shouldn't even have to explain this. And I said this on Lexi's stream and I'll say it again on mine. Um, I think that if you've ever been one of these people, because we've seen this happen before too, where you have been caught with your massive platform of influence over lots of teenagers and children. Um, and in private, you are being manipulative and abusing people, manipulating and abusing teenagers. I just think that if you are one of those people who's caught and you said, I'm sorry, I'm going to go work on myself. I think that it's a lie if you ever come back. I think that if you have been caught clearly irresponsible with this position of power over teenagers, that if you were actually out there and did the work and were sorry, you'd voluntarily never come back if you really were sorry. I just couldn't ever believe it if you put yourself right back into the same shoes that allowed you to do that the first time. And I also just think, you don't, I don't think we should allow a second opportunity when we're dealing with teenagers and children. I just don't think that you should be allowed a second opportunity. Something that I would wish to see from my peers, other content creators, is that I know that there are people that know these things happen. I know that there are people that knew these things happened and they let it happen and they didn't say anything or they excused it for their friend. Um, I think that we all need to decide at some point that we find it unacceptable. You hear about someone or you see someone do something like this. Unacceptable. We do not protect those people anymore. We do not. We don't let them back. We don't give them another opportunity to take it. Teenagers! This is actually just so fucking cringe. The amount of morally grandstanding over like protect the 18 year old children and the 18 year old teenagers is just fucking insane. Why is it specifically about the 18 and 19 year olds? You know, those kind of teenagers. Why is it specifically them? I feel like it should be everybody. I don't think anybody should be treated horribly, no matter who you are. Do you guys think she would feel the same if it was like a 26 year old was being treated bad by a 40 year old? Do you think she would really feel the same? Do you think she would call the 26 year old like a 
26 year old child because I honestly feel like she would do something like that. Now when it comes down to not wanting to protect people who do things like this I totally understand but here's the thing and I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm protecting anybody because I'm not. I mean the whole MCYT community just seems like it's just trash. It's full of like the dumbest people ever and uh, there's a whole bunch of backstabbing. I really hate backstabbing. Not really a big fan of it but once again here's the thing. I'm totally fine with ruining somebody who is actually a piece of shit. Somebody who actually did these really bad things to other people but when you do not provide evidence or your story has holes in it like a, a shit ton of holes in it for whatever fucking reason either because you were unprepared or you were maliciously trying to ruin somebody else's career by levying false allegations towards them then that's where you become the evil person especially if you're acting in bad faith trying to make the age gap between an 18 year old and a 26 year old like the biggest problem ever like as if the 26 year old is like a pedophile for like trying to I guess get with the 18 year old like guys when it really comes down to it with Shelby's story and Katie's story initially off the bat with both of their stories they did not provide evidence and Shelby still has not provided evidence and they literally fucking destroyed Wilbur over it and I know he made like a shitty fucking response but people are saying that he admitted to the abuse in his statement that he put out the rush statement that he put out when we have went over this many times in past videos no he did not not technically he did not but everybody saw it that way that's why I call it a shitty response or statement or whatever you want to call it but like just remember guys she provided no evidence and he got ruined I mean just imagine if that happened in the Katie situation the Katie and George not found situation she alleges that he did all this bad and terrible stuff he essayed her blah 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 he does a Wilbur response in the moment because he sees that he's being canceled starts freaking out and then one wrong response and his career is fucking over and Katie doesn't have to do anything else because I mean if you think about it that's what happened with the Wilbur shovel situation and I seriously think it's fucked up I really do now of course Wilbur shouldn't have put out that shitty response he should have did what George did said he was going to address it on a live stream and then make a very detailed video about it and clear things up with evidence that way but like what dystopian society are we living in where innocent until proven guilty has lost its meaning and it's the other way around like I know it's the internet and all but I just personally find it really fucked up that if you make one wrong response to things that you're being accused of with no evidence by the way they just fucking crucify you because like I said before a lot of people are saying that oh he admitted to it no he did not if you used your fucking brain you could see that he did not admit to the abuse he admitted to being a piece of shit sure okay totally understandable and I agree he should have gotten some backlash for that but he never at any point admitted to the abuse in here I think that if there's anything that we should be collectively deciding all of us because the community you come from doesn't matter never matter what we all need to be doing is deciding collectively these things are not acceptable telling people to kill themselves over the internet is not acceptable messing around with teenagers just because they're 18 you think they're the same as a consenting adult who's 30 nearly 30 or plus because let's not even start with all the people 30 plus that think 18 is still an acceptable person to have any kind of intimate anything with there are boundaries you need to have with those people they are kids i, I just think that's so predatory and if you think that the excuse that they're adults is good enough we fundamentally disagree Ugh. there's so much responsibility you know you don't get to, this is such a privilege to sit here i have a thousand three hundred people watching it is such a privilege and you are never entitled to it. Never. You are never entitled to keep it forever if you are shown that you can't be responsible with it when kids are involved. And now children are telling me to kill myself. There is no way that you think an 18 year old and a 26 year old hooking up is fucking predatory. There's just no fucking way. Like sure they're young, but are they technically children? No, they're legal adults. They can drive a fucking car. They can go to work. They can be outside in public at any time of the day because I don't know about other places, but there are curfew laws in Michigan. And if you're not 18, you can't be out between like a certain time. It's like, I think 11 PM and like 6 AM or something. In most states, you're not allowed to legally consent to doing sexual things until you're 18 years old you can get fucking married at age 18 you can move out rent an apartment you can vote and you can do so much more at age 18 like these are adult things to do like stop babying fucking people and stop saying other people who happen to be like eight years older than them trying to hook up with them like stop calling them like child predators and insinuating that they're like some sort of pedo or something because they wanted to hook up with you know this person who happened to be 18 years old i mean at least they weren't fucking underage now if they were underage okay i would understand the criticism now when it comes down to the people telling you to KYS, I mean, I really don't blame them. I'm not going to say saying things like that is like, you know, a good thing to do because it's not, it's not nice and it's hurtful to other people if we really want to be this way. But I mean, when you're saying things like this and you're reaching this fucking far, like expect people not to be happy with you and expect the children, the 18 year old children to tell you to do things like this because they don't like what you're saying because they want to be independent and don't want to be treated like a child anymore. Now, with that being said, there's not really much more I want to talk about in this 
this, I guess, response from Shubble here. She only talked about the Katie George situation for like 10 minutes, and then she talked about her own stuff, which I really don't care to talk about in this video. So I think I'm going to be wrapping up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so it gets promoted more in the algorithm so more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me, and I really do appreciate it. My name is Brion, the 20-year-old child, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Thank you.